how to fix a D3D 11 compatible GPU feature level 11.0 game shader 5.0 is required to run the game in Fortnite. Okay, so right now what you just need to do is um give um um I'm enjoying the giveaway. We are giving away giving away in Roblox our uh, Robux to my subscribers. So simply if you want to join yourself uh some Robux giveaway, simply don't forget to smash like button so subscribe and if you enjoy the video because I'll be uploading more and more tutorial what you just need to do also to subscribe the post notifications and comment your books name down below and if you're a fortnite player okay so don't forget uh we'll be catching up something to give away to you guys but don't forget to smash like button so subscribe the post notifications don't forget to turn on the bell icon because we'll be giving away more and more so first of all search for advanced settings search for advanced settings uh, it's up here okay let's click on it so as you see under performance are uh, on visual effects processes scheduling memory usage and uh virtual memory okay click on settings okay so after clicking on settings you'll be seeing much much more which will pop up okay so click uh, on add advanced okay so what you just need to do is come up here okay and click uh, on add advanced okay in performance options okay so after here you'll be needing to click on uh, on yeah on change okay so just come okay down here, okay so after guys don't forget to turn on the bell icon if you enjoy the videos because i'll be giving away uh much much things okay in this giveaway okay like, robust to my subscribers okay so what you just need to do is um subscribe with the, with the bell icon and don't forget to turn on the personal question if you're a, a fortnite player and you also play sometimes robux okay don't forget to join the giveaway and get yourself some robux okay click on change okay so after clicking on change okay you'll be seeing some much also uh uncheck automatically manage paging file okay so after checking this okay check on custom size okay so after clicking on check on uh, custom size let's write here something like a one zero twenty four okay so this is a one gb a one gb of memory okay so down here okay on a maximum size okay what you just need to do is to uh, uh, if you want to check your uh, your maximum ram okay what you just need to do is search for this uh it comes in a window it's called the run okay search for it okay in the windows as search bar okay so what you just need to do also to search for dxd okay so what you just, uh, as you see after searching for dxd okay let's clear it something okay let's clear something okay um dx okay it looks like a space but it's um, nothing much okay i click okay okay so after clicking okay uh here we are looking for um, our, our amount of maximum ram okay so as you see here you can see your amount of maximum ram okay you will be seeing the memory as you see it's 400 and uh, like that okay mb is okay uh, then as you see so let's uh, type in our maximum memory as as four zero yeah it's four zero and and nine uh, it's four zero and nine and also let's see let's let's see uh, four zero nine and six okay the four zero nine and six okay so after typing in the uh the initial size and also the maximum size okay up here it's the memory and down here is the ram okay so after multiplying okay so click on set so after clicking on set you'll be seeing something some changes okay as you see okay up here they, we have some changes and then click on okay so after clicking on okay so it will be telling you the change you made uh, requires to restart your computer okay so make sure you restart your computer before you do anything else okay so click on apply so after clicking on apply click on apply and then click on okay so as you see the changes have been made but uh, to clearly 